Sasubina Africa. Hello everybody, my name is Bokusatsu, or everyone call me, and welcome to a, my review on Bakio Sentai Opera Ranger, the 20th anniversary movie. Yes, I watched the movie, and uh, I gotta say, I loved it. <laughs> Listen, Opera Ranger held a special place in my heart for for many reasons. And watching this movie yesterday, I loved the beginning to end. So let's go on to some let's go on to the synopsis, shall we? This part. Sorry, about the But uh, this movie takes place. 20 years after the show and uh, the main synopsis for this movie that uh, the people of society modern day citizens did not agree with the Alba Ranger rampage when it comes to the Greywater era and uh, that was like the big plot point of the movie and I really love how I really love how they did it let me explain about spoiling the movie talk about how how the how the Heisei Day and Weiwa Day for for them going rampage are totally different, and I love that. It shows more character growth for the operators. Well, well, they uh, they got like a lot of character growth, but it shows them being more. How can I say this? Sort of civilized, you will say. And I really love that. It's cool to see Amy again, uh, Sanjo. Well, you go, my bad. Ryoga, Asuka, Ranu, Makoto, <laughs> Mai Chan. It's so cool to see the whole game. Also, the crocodile's here. I love that crocodile, dude. You've won the best part of the show for me on my rewatch and uh, seeing him, sorry, and uh, seeing him again. Well, it really brought a smile to my face. I, it's, I, I love it. Uh, I love it. This movie has a lot of callbacks to the show. One of them, for her example, when uh, the Opera Ranger about to do the, about to do that, about to do the five way roll call. Makoto, Makoto was going to do his Opera Killer Pub, but Yoga came behind him and took him to death. And uh, that was a callback to the show because if you don't remember, in Opera Ranger, Mimi Yoga was about to do his iconic badass, his iconic pose, that, his iconic pose to Makoto when uh, they were fighting in the desert, in the, in the freaking desert race land. Makoto said, yeah, no boy, and just, just super speed him back and forth while whooping his butt. That was, that was a callback for it, and uh, McCullough was not happy about that. It was funny, but also, nice homage. Also, I want to point this out. I want to point this out, though. I love the message for this movie. Talking about... I love the message... I'm sorry. I love the message for this movie. When it talks about... When it... When, <laughs> When it talks about why we love and appreciate Abba Ranger, this movie was a love letter to all the Abba Ranger fans, including me. I might have a bias for this movie, yes, but I loved it. I love seeing the old cast. I love seeing the. I love hearing the soundtrack again. I love seeing the suits again. Granted, Abba Blue suit did got a little wasted. He. He got the blade treatment. If you know what I'm talking about, then yeah. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I love this movie. Is, is it better than her, Kindred? Oh yeah, totally. Well done. <laughs> it's my honest opinion about the her Kindred movie. It wasn't. It wasn't a transversity movie to begin with. I don't blame the cast. No, they were super excited for one last adventure with the character. That's, and I told them, I'm totally on board with them about that. 
but the movie didn't feel like a 20th anniversary movie for Hurricane Drew. It just felt like a regular episode of Hurricane Drew. And by the way, if I'm going to be bare honest, the 10 year, the 10 year after movie felt like more of a 20th anniversary movie. But for that movie, they mentioned multiple times. It's been 10 fucking years since the gang saw each other. It's been fucked in Kenya. They referenced, they only referenced one time in the Operation movie. It's been 20 years. One time. One time they referenced it. They referenced it. That's it. That's it. They, they only referenced it one time. I don't remember in the Hurricane movie them reference that it's been 20 years. Also, I want to point out something about that movie. I love the I love the marketing they did for it because it's it's, it's 100% clickbait as hell. So you see in the poster, you see all the Hurricane movies, right? But in the poster, you see you see Yosuke with his new power up. That isn't Yosuke. Nope, that's his ancestor. With the new power up. Why is he with the other Hurricanes? Because the trailer teased that the teased that the ancestor were gonna get the Hurricane suits. Nope. They didn't. Yeah, yeah, that movie was over that movie was underwhelming. But anyway, we're not talking about that movie. We're talking about Op Ranger. I remember when I saw the the power up for the movie, Super Alba Mac, I said, yeah, this suit, this suit's alright, this is not it. I, I like Hurricane Drew one more. But after watching both movies, I can officially say in my humble deep opinion, my humble my honest opinion, Alba Mac is a way better power up for well for multiple reasons. For story wise and uh for in a more context as well because the Hurricane movie again like way too much marketing on the new power up which didn't which wasn't even necessary to begin with. In Operation movie they they didn't rely on the new power up for the marketing. They didn't. And I love that. Now we already know that Toei's gonna be cooking next year for uh for a certain for a certain team. If you know, you know. <laughs> but this movie this movie set a high bar for me, saying, yeah, uh it yeah, yeah no, yeah no, this is yeah no, this is a 20th anniversary movie. Granted, I have meant that I only watched the raw version. When the subtitles come out, I'll probably make a second review on it. But uh, yeah, this movie, yeah, this movie's a love letter for the whole. This movie's a love letter for all Sentai, for Abba Ranger in general. If I had to rank all the, if I had to rank all the movies that I watched that that take place after the um, show, for ones that I watch, Abba Ranger, Decker Ranger, Gokaiger, Hurricane, uh. Go Sager in Nin Ninja. I did not like the I did not like the beat the Nin Ninja beast in the mouth that much. I it, that's my least favorite. What the hell? What the hell? Is it? Oh, that's my hair! I thought that was a burnt mark. My bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this movie was really good. <laughs> but for real though, I loved it. I can't lie, I actually loved it. I thought it was really good. <laughs> it's so cool see Ron it's so cool see Ranu again. Because last time we saw her was last time we saw Ranu technically canonized. Not the Kira Yuja movie. That was that was her actually doing voiceover work. Same for Yusuko actor. But at the same time same time Yuko's actor was in the op, in the Kira Yuja movie. Playing well himself, playing Abba Blue, but okay. Anyway, that's the last time we saw Ronnie technically was in 2004 in the Decker Ranger crossover. 
and see her again in her iconic suit. Oh hell yes. Although the, I do have issue, I do have one issue with this movie. There wasn't enough screen time for her for her character, which I'm going to guess the which I'm going to guess because of the, because her actress because of her actress. Uh, well, her actress didn't uh, want it. Her actress had a reason why she didn't why she didn't want to be part of the first half of the movie, which is totally fair enough. But yeah. Besides that, this movie's pretty good. I love the homage. I love the I love seeing the old cast again. This was a love letter to operate. I know I keep saying that, but just it was. If we're gonna be, if if we're gonna, if, if, uh, hot take. This movie is way better than the Go Kai Entertainment Anniversary movie. I said this movie is way better than the Go Kai movie. I'm sorry, but I just said because no offense, no offense. This movie felt like a love letter to uh, uh to the up uh, to Opera Ranger and all Super Sentai as a whole. The Go Kai movie is just 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 basically a big giant commercial for the fucking power up, and that's it. Just just like the Hurricane one. But overall, if I had to rank this movie, I'll give it an A. It's very good, very funny, and uh, once once the movie is once the movie is officially sub, you're gonna get sub, guys. Just relax. You're gonna love it too. But yeah, uh, ten out of ten. Okay, now be biased. Nine point ten out of ten. Okay, my one issue is that there wasn't enough Ronnie, but at the same time I know why because her because her, I guess her actress her actress asked for asked for like limited screen time, but that's fair enough. But my that 9.10 out of 10. Good movie. So yeah guys, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media in the description. And uh oh yeah, uh I'll be going out of town but in uh I'll say uh not this week, the week after, and I'm thinking about doing a vlog, a mini vlog. I'll be, I'll be uh, heading out to San Diego, so yay! If any of my mooks are down there, <laughs> if anyone sees me down there, say hello. Come take pictures with me, I'm not doing a meetup by the way. <laughs> and uh, yeah! Thank you all for, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow, on, again, follow all my shows in the description. And uh, yeah, guys, let's get my channel up to 1,000 subs this year. Because with guys' help, with your guys' help, we can do that. You uh, know, yeah. I can't lie, doing a review is pretty sad fun. The last, the last one I did was for Shin Kamen Rider, and uh, well, you guys already know how I feel about Shin Kamen Rider. So, yeah. But overall, uh, that's all. Talk to you all later. Peace.